Hello. Welcome back, guys. I know that it says we're in August because we are, but PSN fucked up something with my recording and it basically corrupted. So we're below the A's in the standings right now. We made some trades that, you know, were expected. Let me just call it this Thomas White kid that we traded for, I think. This is the guy we traded for. Yep. So I traded Tyler Anderson. I traded some some of the, the the older bullpen pieces. I traded Rendon. Curtis Mead is starting there. We got we traded some of the older outfielders, and that's about it. As of you know the draft, we got this Isaiah Watson kid. He's not great, but he can definitely play third base if I need him to. Kurt Montenegro looks very good. Definitely a potential starter in the future. Bebe Castilla, pretty solid, could start. DeAndre Ewing definitely can be a guy who can possibly be in the like back end of the rotation. I mean the bullpen. Nino Molino looks incredible. Just needs to get his hitting hitting chops. And then these third basemen I draw I drafted down the board. Not great. But let's look at the season stats so far. We're gonna start with Nolan. Show Noel. 833 OPS. Again, I, I said I had a lot of high hopes for him. And he's doing that 2.2 war. Through halfway through the season, doing very good, developing pretty nicely with his power. Like I said, Taylor Ward, 807 OPS, very good, 22 home runs, very happy with his performance. Trout, Mike Trout's Mike Trout, 1000 OPS, 33 home runs. He's gonna probably win MVP at this rate. Brian Drury didn't get to trade him at the deadline. Not as great of a season as last year, but he's still pretty good. Moniac. All right, 680 OPS could do better, but I think I'm also hitting, making him hit against both sides, so that's probably a problem. Logan Alhobby is doing great. It's not great, but 67 to 755 OPS, developing nicely. Hopefully, he can get more of a power stroke. That's all I need. Luis Ranifo, doing all right. He definitely can be better, but 24 home runs isn't bad. Curtis Mead, our Anthony Rendon replacement. Not doing awful for a placement. Definitely doing more than Anthony Rodon ever did. Out of Australia, too, so that's pretty cool. Neto, I'm kind of sad that he's doing this shitty, but he'll he'll develop more. He'll get that shot, those shots. There is a slight differential in the lineup, but that doesn't really matter. Now let's go look at the rotation. Detmer's not doing great. 4.85 is not ideal. What's not awful? That he can definitely do better, but he still has a pot as a war. Sandoval, definitely not doing great either, but he's still developing, so that's fine. Chase Seth, that's fine for a younger guy. Griffin Canning, definitely one of our better starters right now, shockingly enough, but he's slowly developing, but regressing in other categories. Jose Suarez, who, who snuck himself into the rotation because of some trades. Probably should have had Woods Richardson start over him, but this is what he's looking like. Not great. Not good at all. Hopefully, Simeon Richardson helps out a bit. Carlos Estevez is doing great. Let's go look at the awards leader so far. Trout's leading with Bregman and Altuve trailing. Otani's leading in the National League. That's funny. Uh, Cy Young, Kevin Gossman's in the lead. Would have been the second time. In the last four years that a Blue Jay won the Cy Young, Otani is leading there too. Batting title is currently being led by Boba Chet. Seiya Suzuki is leading in the National League. Leclerc is leading for reliever of the year. Same with Evan Phillips. Noah Shenwell is currently leading for rookie of the year. Colt Keith is just behind him. Curtis Mead is in third place. Ronnie Mauricio is leading there. Hank Aaron, Trout's leading. With Judge trailing, um, Say Suzuki is pretty much dominating on that side. Garrett Cole, we're not going to go to the National League for this, but Cole's leading. Pitcher Gold Glove, Reese McGuire's catcher, Rendon, Rendon, Rizzo, Andre, uh, Andres Jimenez, Josh Young, Corey Seager, Dalton Varsho, Byron Buxton, very close. Tr Trout is Max Kepler for Silver Slugger. Luis Ranjifo is close. But Eloy Jimenez is leading. We have Cal Riley barely leading against Ohapi. Vlad, Altuve, Bregman, Bobby Witt. Trout is leading in one category. 
and the rest don't really matter right now. But yeah, I, I think I think there's there's some promising stuff to this. I don't think I don't, I don't think we're gonna finish with a great record, but there, there's some promise being shown this year, and let's hope that it continues to grow like this. But yeah, that's gonna be the end of this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, see you, uh, hit that bell to see when I upload next. Join the Discord server that I'm putting in the description. That'll tell you when I go live and when I upload. That'd be very much appreciated. Hang out. Everyone's usually chill. I, I strive myself on having a very friendly, helping community. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Peace.